Hello guys and welcome to Play of the J. My name is Jay and here with me this evening is going to be Kelvin Imbaung or also known as Newbie. So Newbie, welcome to the stream man. How are you? I'm good, I'm good. Hello everyone. Uh, <laughs> this is going to be my first time casting with uh, uh, Jay. So, uh, you know, uh, like people say, you know, Sila Tunjo Aja, you know, please, uh, you know, g give me some face mm. and everything. So <laughs> yeah. it's going to be an, uh, quite an experience today. Absolutely. So yeah. I think today, yeah, the first time that Newbie and I will be uh, co-casting to this. Uh, and so let's get in store for round number one, guys. Just change uh, a little thing here for the map and uh, we are good to go. So uh, I think we see here that our first plane of the evening here is going to be all the way from the northwestern side of the map, all the way down to the southeast. So I think this offers quite a little bit of uh, flexibility for a lot of these teams, don't you think, newbie? Yep, definitely. And now you can see there's a lot of teams that are heading down to the early part of the map. Um, we're wondering how the... Um, the teams are gonna play out. Yeah. So, uh, oh yeah. So uh, I think we <laughs> we actually forgot to introduce the teams here. So uh, just again to run through, there is the team list in the video description. But uh, very quickly, th teams one through to twenty, we have Triple X Gaming, we have Fury, Zero Gravity, Five CZ, uh, Order, Allegiant Gaming, Awesome for some, uh, Asbol, TMA. Uh, MIBN, uh, Grim Gaming, Outsiders, AWM, Gentleman's Club, Stadium Fighter, Legendary V2, Gold Army Factory, Bait Team, Friendly Fire Gaming Gold, and Friendly Fire Gaming. So, yeah, a lot of teams did drop out quite early on, as you mentioned. So, I think we do see that Friendly Fire Gaming actually going to go for the Zarki region here, but it looks like Firing Range we might have a little bit of a close encounters there, and looks like it's going to set the stage for the rest of the game here, as we do see that the circle has actually gone towards the northern side of the map. So talk us through the the, the potential engagements that we see here. Best Guy Rec doesn't look in a very comfortable position at all, does he? Yep, definitely. So they are going to be in the uh, firing range and definitely you can see best get wrecked is in between two players from team number 12. So you get to see the PXL5, sorry, S3, is it S3? Yeah, PXL X3, he's running through the gun range looking for some weapons and definitely I'm, I'm pretty sure that you get... Oh, someone's getting shot from... Um, Best get right. Oh, best get right. Getting a good shot on the PXL S3. He's finishing him off, and that's one member down. Yeah, I think now his team members are aware of the threat that's coming here. As best get right did uh, manage to reverse the situation, but it looks like Gen uh, Jen Joker here actually putting some shots to maybe this time, and looks like maybe this time going to be able to get the pistol shots right back onto him. But best get right is coming here with his AKM, and he's looking to uh, see whether or not there's any support needed. But I think they have control of the shooting range for the time being. Uh, and I think we did see that there was some action going on earlier on as we did see that Insane Floyd getting on the board early here for Awesome uh, for some as well. But uh, looking at the position of the circle here, how do you think it's going to be uh, changing things up later on? Uh, definitely, uh, you get to see bad, uh, faster rotations coming in from these teams, and of course, uh, at the same time, you're seeing Best Cat Rack taking some good shots on the uh, team number 12. Okay, okay, I need to get the team number 12 name again. Oh, it's gonna um, be Team Outsiders, actually. Team Outsiders, yeah? Okay. And But then, uh, Best Cat Rack. Um, I don't think his lack of use. Oh, he's getting shot by Splinter, and Splinter getting another one. Uh, maybe this time. Uh, what a good headshot on that. Uh, yeah, looks like uh, he's going to still take fire, and it's it's oh. Raven actually going to be coming up clutch here as uh, like Jack going to be moving in for the finish, and just in time to get uh, the other team members there from MIBN back up here. So it looks like they do kind of get that dominance there from the shooting range side of things here. And just like that, Team 12 is down to the last member, so Hughes got to play the really safe at the early phase of the game. And now it looks like Gold Army Factory actually is going to be looking to see what we can do on these teams in rotation. Legendary V2 actually trying to come through here, but Mr. Six actually getting 
taken down there by KMF1, but he's actually all by himself here, and uh, luckily for him, I don't think that the rest of the, the players there from uh, Legendary Gaming dis or Legendary V2 decided to engage any further. So now it looks like uh, we'll have a look and see how the rest of the map is developing here. And uh, looking at the, the spread of the teams here, where, where do you think are going to be like the busy rotation avenues that will be coming up uh, very shortly? Well, um, based on the flight path, I'm assuming that a lot of rotations, they're going to move more uh, to Yasnaya-ish. Because as you can see, nobody is at Yasnaya for a time being because most of the uh, rotation is going to be corner of the circles and etc. So um, teams are most likely going to be focused where Udin is going to be at. Of course, we're not going to review where Udin is going to be. <laughs> well, actually, it doesn't matter too much because uh, we, of course, do have a delay. So I think we're not going to really be too concerned about whether or not um, we actually mentioned some of these locations here. And, ah, okay. Uh, yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, we are ahead of the curve here, uh, ladies and gentlemen. So have no fear. Uh, we will make sure that this is going to be as competitive as it can here. But, yeah, like you said, uh, I think they will be seeing, like, where we're going to be the best avenues uh, and whatnot. So Udin and the rest of Stadium Fighter are probably going to be looking for the best path. And I think we already see that there are a number of teams already on the move. Yep. And now you can see Udin is actually... Um taking up the care package he got himself an AUG and a level 3 helmet together with a level 3 back it's a really good um, start off for him right now yeah and I think uh, also because he's one of the earlier players to, to be moving here he's definitely going to be able to good, get a nice spot inside the center of the circle nice before everyone else is there but looks like we have problems right now for triple x gaming and uh, looks like dmz are gonna get one back after uh, yeah, i think they knocked down their own players some are actually getting taken down here but it looks like full army factory trying to return a little bit of fire towards triple x gaming not really hanging around i think i think they're just gonna be happy to get out of there with just one of the losses yep Definitely. Uh, so you see team number one, Triple X Gaming, losing one of the members in a small collision. So uh, they managed to get off. I mean, they managed to run away from the uh, Golden sorry, Golden Army Factory, right? Yeah, that's right. So now we're already seeing that there's going to be a lot of Mad Max action going on over here as we do have the players here from Team Order going very close uh, in their rotation to awesome for some here. But they are going to be slowing down just a little bit, gather a little bit more momentum amongst their own team. I think they do not need to have these early clashes, which is really not going to help them into the later stages. Yep, definitely. Uh, Jay, you give me, gotta give me a sec. <laughs> oh, oh, your food is here, is it? Yeah, my food is here. <laughs> okay. You're right. Ah, you see, I am absolutely psychic. Okay, no worries, newbie. All right, so let's just pick up on this game here. So now we can see that almost everyone is here. Now, people who watch this channel frequently um, might be uh, aware that uh, there were the previous circle settings, and now it's slightly faster here in these uh, games that we are seeing tonight. So probably expect the, the games to run a few minutes sooner. So a lot of teams here in rotation a lot faster, and looks like tragedy striking legendary V2 here as they run right into the team members of Grim Gaming here on the hill. And now Grim Gaming looking to get some shots onto Ospel. Ospel looking to find a good spot to call home right now. They are moving into the center of the circle, but uh, uh, there is going to be Stadium Fighter already hanging out towards the center of the circle. Severny is going to be occupied by MIBN for the time being. As uh, we're seeing actually quite a lot of teams going around the Stalber Mountain here for the time being. And ooh, unfortunate there for Zero Gravity. Zero Gravity actually knocking over one of their players there. So and we'll have to think about uh, getting the teammate up as fast as possible. But now looks like more pressure going to come from Grim Gaming as they are trying to get some shots onto the whole army factory. It looks like uh, here, here is going to be getting away just a little bit, spinning out. Uh, I think the tires are still intact somewhat, but taking a bit too many hits right there. So we're going to have to continue on foot here to avoid getting knocked out. Now, the team members are not too close. They are on the side of the road. Phase one of the circle is almost finished here, and these guys are really going to have to think about how they're going to maneuver around to get into the zone 2 pretty well. It does look like the same point here, uh, taking a bit of fire from Insight. Insight going to be finishing off the player here from uh, Awesome for uh, 
some, and he's actually going to take the time to make it nice and personal. So it looks like Insane Floyd is going to be taken down there and an early loss there coming out for awesome for some. So now we do have Flute and Inside just going to be uh, very much benefiting from the additional loot. And with the speedier circles that we do see here, guys, it's definitely going to mean that we're going to be seeing quite uh, a, a lot of circumstances where teams are just not going to have enough loot and uh, really going to be trying to do what they can uh, to get that little bit of extra edge here. But now lots of teams here starting to move in. Looks like Xavier here actually getting taken down and looks like Gold Army factoring in a bit of trouble as they do stop right in front of the end right at the end. We're just going to get absolutely taken down here by Raven, but they are going to be hiding behind that big Kipo blows up, but not enough damage here to take them out. Now, it looks like Nine Holy and Ichia here going to be moving around the side here. Let's see whether or not they can get back to Dreams and the rest of Gold Army Factory. It does look like they have awesome for some here, putting some fire onto the Green Gaming, and they're just trying to get out from this zone here. It looks like uh, Bullet L here going to be taking quite a few hits and uh, going to have to get that smoke out. Try and get him up here, but really just not a lot of cover. They have Udine from City and Fighter just a bit further south here. And but I have to really think about what they are going to be doing here to try and get into this. But looks like we're going to have a bunch of teams all crossing position on the hill over here. It looks like Friendly Fire Gaming Gold here is trying to deal with the situation, but uh, it looks like uh, there's a lot of tragedy here going on for AWM. They have taken three losses so far, as uh, we can see Muchao here getting a bunch of knocks there and getting to claim two kills early on. So now they do have uh, Johnny Walker and uh, another player there from AWM going to be hanging out at the tower for now. Everyone else is very much grabbing inside the center of the circle now and they're all just not having a lot of cover and taking a lot of running fire. Triple X Gaming here is in the zone as is um, Stadium Fighter also trying to deploy some kind of smokes here get a little bit of cover going for them and see what they can do in this tight situation at the moment as uh, now we're seeing friendly fire gaming also coming in here and uh kelvin you got your food already bro yep i got my food already <laughs> i'm well, so sorry for that hey no worries man yep. what are you eating uh i got myself uh i think like some garlic fried rice <laughs> garlic fried rice ah very yeah. nice very nice yep so, <laughs> So yeah, let's see how the, the game is turning up here. Ooh, looks like wow. we're getting some nice shots. Very nice shot by Fluid on DMZUMY, leaving his teammate there in the hot. So the transitioning of how the teams are all moving in as the circle closes in really quickly, uh, you can see that everyone's getting clumped up and everyone's you know coming in from the corners and everything. And uh, definitely you can see Blade taking a shot at team number five. It's uh, team number five. Let me look at the team number five at team order. Mm. Yes. Yeah, I think yep. the team right now, Order, does have a good spot. Uh, I think it does give a lot of opportunity for them to, to put some fire onto all these teams. There's just not a lot of cover in this kind of valley that we do have here. So any kind of real estate here is going to be absolutely uh, precious here. Mm -hmm. Definitely. And of course, at, uh, as you can see, we have a couple of teams that's already in the circle. Uh, the, the game the game settings has changed uh, a little bit more, right, uh, Jay? Because mm, the yeah. circle has been closing in really fast right now. So teams have to really be quick on their feet to understand the game mechanics and how they're going to be rotating into, into the map. Because anytime if you're late, you're going to lose out premium positions, especially in a game of PUBG like this. Yeah, absolutely. I think like the how people are adapting, you know, definitely is in a step in the uh, direction to try and make this uh, a much more enjoyable um, esport that we do want to see action right from the start here. So really going to try and minimize on that early game looting up here and it's going to put a lot more emphasis on the tactics of course there's still going to be your elements of rng into this game which i think we will expect to continue to see in the future as um i mean pubg is going to be fun but it's going to be interesting as you said how teams are going to be using these different circle settings that we do see here in 2019 and yep. uh, seeing how that this can actually be you know, it, it could actually be to some of the team's strengths, you know, that we actually see them making these early rotations. Yep, definitely. And Groot Boy getting a heavy fire from Team Escorex. Uh, team number 10, NIBN. 
and did he survive? Yeah, he did survive. He managed yeah, to. I think he, he just managed to get out there, but he's running right towards Nikolaeva and the rest of the stadium fighter here, and it looks like he's going to continue onwards there, just narrowly avoiding. <laughs> But the power of the motorbike. <laughs> absolutely, but it's at this stage of the game where we just see that all the compounds have been taken. There's just nowhere to go, and Group Boy gets taken down by Udine. Yeah, a bit of a hit shot by Udine, and then you get to see, um, get, sorry, Bass get dragged, taking on a hit shot on Val, Rapiros, Udine finish off, finishing you off, Group Boy, and Jinkele while taking out the rest of the remaining team. Number nine, TMA, it's out of the, out of the game for now. So it looks like they're out first here in this game at the 14th minute mark. So it looks like other other teams here are just trying to buy for position. But we still got some other teams here trying to come in from the side here. And it looks like we have one player left from outsiders trying to be gatekeep a little bit. They're private uh, players here from MIBN here. But looks like they will be able to finish off Fury. So Fury is the second team to go out here this evening. And it looks like they are going to have a strong foothold in this side of the circle. Yep, definitely. I can see that um, the Golden Army Factory taking down Endeavor. So a very good cover from him, but he lost he lost one of his members. And it looks like we have Backtrack actually coming in there. I think he, with the information that he has, he's going to move in, see whether or not he can put the finishing touches on the Golden Army Factory. But it looks like they managed to get inside the hut for the time being. And just going to be biding their time here and trying to lock onto that real estate, but it's not going to help them too much, of course, since Circle yep. is going to be a little bit more central. Yep, and now you see the timers going down, clicking it up. Sorry, clicking it up, you know, clicking down. <laughs> oh, absolutely. And yep. uh, we only have 15 seconds before the Circle starts moving here, so Dreams and KMF1 have to think what they're going to do, but it's not really up to them. I think they do have the problem of having these two players right now from 5CZ making their life Dreams comes out of here trying to make a play, but it looks like they're going to get taken down there. And looks like a, ooh. A, ooh, a bit of a TK there, you know. Mm -hmm. so, so Backtrack going to have to do what he can. Yep, so Team S, sorry, 5S, uh, sorry, 5CS, they managed to take out the uh, Golden Army Factory. A little bit of a uh, miscommunications there, and definitely uh, the TK is not foreseeable. But I think um, they did a very good rotation coming on to the uh, two Golden Army Factory members, uh, closing them in and definitely finishing them off. And, and now they got the position pretty uh, fixated on that angle. Yeah, the southwestern side of the circle looking pretty clear for them to get in. But I think a lot of these other teams here are just trying to get inside the zone as well. Looks like we do have Grim Gaming here going to be starting to move in. They put the finishing touches there, I think, onto Legendary V2. And now they've run into Friendly Fire Gaming's gold here. And uh, now they're going to be locking horns a little bit, see whether or not they're going to really press the issue. They can move a little bit towards the west to try and get inside the circle. Most of these teams are getting in already. Yep, and you can see uh, there are traits of fire between uh, Team Zero Gravity and AWM. And definitely we can get there to see that uh, Team AWM managed to clear off the Team number 3? Yeah, was it 3? No, they, they managed to clear off, yeah, Zero Gravity, that's right. Oh, no, yeah, zero, sorry, zero Gravity took out AWM. So AWM oh, on, right. out, unfortunately, here in this game. And it looks like our... Uh, the players that we saw from Vice and Zen here moving in on the position of the Legion Gaming here. And it does look like a uh, Aru... Uh, Oru? Uh, Oru Molov. Sorry, if I'm <laughs> saying that wrong. But it looks like he, he actually gets a couple of knocks there. But he gets knocked down in turn. Looks like they are trying to push this warehouse. It's going to be a little bit uh, treacherous and going to be actually quite a bit of effort here. But I think mm -hmm. for the time being here, B is going to be hiding out a little bit inside. Yep, and, and he's gonna, oh, he's gonna take that hit shot on Google, and however, Backtrack managed to cover Google's um back, and they managed to take over the warehouse, and it's, for a time being, you can see that the uh, Team 19, uh, FFG goal, having a trade of fire with Team number 11, which is Grim Gaming, so Grim Gaming having one of his members left, I think we have one more, two more members oh, left, yeah, two, Sorry, members. two more. Two members left. But the position is strong for FFG Gold. They can't keep these last two players there from Grim Gaming. And it does look like Jakuz 
Ja Yakuza is actually ja. going to be hanging out here a little bit more. The smoke's coming out there for Grim Gaming as they do want to try and get this last ditch effort. They are just inside, just barely. And luckily for them, the circle is not too far, but they're probably going to have to take this fight with FFG here pretty soon. Yep, and you can see Wolf taking, uh, giving some shots towards the team number 20. FFG is getting some shots from Wolf at the for time being, both of them rotating into the circle. Um, pretty much FFG goal. Is it FFG? No, FFG is, yeah, FFG is get, getting into the circle rotation pretty quick. Oh, the man. first time being, you see team number 10, NIBN, they are moving in, taking down Bullet. Beautiful shot there, get right, shooting on FFG Afban, all the way to the other end of the map. Oh, it looks like Best Get Red coming up over the top here, it's gonna get taken Ooh. down there, MIBN in dire straits, there's only Yung Jang left, as uh, Wolf FTV here, gonna be continuing to try and secure those, some of those kills, but oh, a lot of backstab actually going wow. on here. So Husey gonna just be hanging a little bit on the edge here. And so now we're seeing that the players here from Team Order are repelling the attack coming in there from Gentleman's Club. And uh, there's still gonna be the pressure coming in from Zero Gravity, just gonna be further on the hill. Now, probably gonna be trying to get their squad strength up just a little bit here. And uh, now we're gonna see whether or not they're gonna withstand the grenade barrage that is gonna be coming down there. So I think we're likely gonna be seeing Zero Gravity holding that position here and just trying to do what they can. Yep, and you can see that the rotation of the teams heading into the circle. MBT Bozo getting into the circle while his teammates are taking fire. I mean, are trading shots with team number three zero gravity. Uh, and then right now it looks like I'm Cold Blood is just stuck in a very difficult position. He's, uh, <laughs> I'm not sure what he's going to be doing, but looks like Yung Jang getting taken out there. MIBN going to be out of this round. FFG seemingly holding control of the northern portion here, but uh, of course through the two different teams here and C3 actually taking quite a few hits. T Tao going to be taking him down there. Yep. Meanwhile, you see Katsu is still taking shots at zero gravity while they are in the midst of fighting with uh, this so set and basically Team Eleven is out. Grim Gaming. Yeah, and it looks like uh, it's getting a little bit tighter here. The circle is going to be uh, revealing itself a little bit. Everyone has kind of found their space somewhat here, but currently on the high ground, we do have quite a few of these teams here going to be strutting their stuff. But for the most part here, it lo it's looking a little bit on the precarious side as we can actually see. There is going to be quite a few of these uh, teams just going to have to clash against one another in an effort to try and get inside. Looks like I'm cold blood. Finally getting taken out there by the players of Bait Team. Yep. Did, did, did we see Jinkalewa take someone else? Uh, you know, um, one of the FFG goal member from the other side of the map. Oh, it could be, could be. Wow. Jinkalewa very yeah. proficient with his, uh, his sniping skills right there. But uh, normally you see him with the car 98. Now, of course, not going to be putting him down in terms of his SKS usage. Looks like him and the rest of Stadium Fighter does have a nice spot on that western side of the circle. And definitely you can see that sta Stadium Fighter with their four, four members strong. They are performing really well and giving very good firepower. And um, you can definitely see that uh, Team 18 Bait team getting a couple of shots from Ascorax Blade and, and uh, Renzera taking down Varsta. Yeah, and now it looks like uh, Ketsui here actually trying to move in a little bit, see whether or not he can get some real on the corner. As the last surviving team member for Bait team, he takes down um, Mucha yeah. here. <laughs> and now he's going to be in trouble and he gets taken. Down. Oh, okay. Killing spree coming out there for Team Order. Yep, and you can see Team 3, uh, the Zero Gravity last member of the, uh, Z sorry, last member of Zero Gaming. Oh, getting annihilated by Team Order. I, th I think that they kind of knew that um, Zero Gravity was on top of the hill, that's why they were paying attention to that. Didn't know that Keith came in from the back. 
always going to be a little bit stretched in that kind of position that we that we saw there. But I think Zero Gravity just not having a lot of luck with the position there. I mean, they did have a high ground, but it was always going to be very difficult for them to move over the shot range there. Actually taking down one of the Stadium Fighter players, Aerol here, getting taken down. Now, he is going to be in a little bit of cover there, but the rest of Stadium Fighter is not going to be aware of Rain Zero and the rest of Cosmo actually pushing down this western side and uh, could be a little bit awkward here. Rain Zero not getting much Ooh. luck with the angles. And inside getting a shot on Rain Zero. So basically at this part of the map, you know, what do you, what do you think, you know, Jay, is going to be the most suitable position for you to, to be in, you know, because everywhere is open. There's so limited kind of covers that you can get. And you, of course, you can see inside taking a very risky move, heading straight to the middle of the map, and beautifully the circle closes on him. Wow, so this could either pay off in a big way, and uh, especially in a circle like this, it really does matter exactly where you think that the, the circle might be uh, going. But of course, it's going to be random, so you can't really predict too much yeah. of that. That's why a lot of the teams that you see are playing on the edge of the circle. They do like to uh, at least have a little bit of a better angle. So there's just not a lot of cover in the center of the circle. Yeah, and Udin hiding underneath his bike, <laughs> getting oh. shot from Flute. Uh, flute? Is this how to pronounce his name? Flute? Flute. Uh, yeah, well, flute. I, I guess. Uh, that will be it for now and uh, if uh, maybe like we're saying it wrong then please do let us know uh, yep. I'll call him Flood like uh, Elmer Fudd but anyways <laughs> um, that's going to be something that we'll pick up a bit later on Insight still going to use that little bit of a defilade in the center of the, the circle here to try and work with it a lot of smokes coming out there for Stadium Fire as they're going to be preparing their migration Yep, and definitely you can see Stadium Fire moving out with the four men, uh, you know, pop, uh, popping smokes just to cover their entrance in into the circle. And definitely you can see Flute with his vehicle. Uh, he's on a motorbike right now and getting shot by Blade and for the time being. Uh, is going to be the team Stadium Fighters. Udi take, got taken down by Inside. Flute finishing off, sorry, is it Flute? Flood. Flood taking off Udi <laughs> and Inside finishing him off. And you can get to see uh, Blade, they are shooting. Uh, stadium fighters for a time being as uh, they're transitioning into the circle. Uh, Ascorax taking out Errol and finishing him off. And you can get to see inside getting shots from Planetary Fire Gaming. You know, uh, Joanne getting oh, getting shot by Dini. Jikalewa taking down, finishing off Joanne. And Dini getting another member of FFG up to pun. Oh, it's this absolutely chaotic. Oh, that 360 turn by Dini and FFG getting shot from inside. And it looks like Flood and Insight still alive here in the center and really just putting a lot of pressure. 14 kills already for Team Order and they're looking to elevate it even more. It looks like Esco, Rex and Blade, the last surviving team members from Osmo, starting to get into a little bit of position. Trying to see whether or not they can take advantage of this uh, kind of angle that they have. It looks like Flood going to get taken down there. I think it's really going to work there by Esco, Rex. Yeah, beautiful shot by his MK14. So now you get to see that flute. Uh, uh, one of the um, sorry, uh, the team order members getting taken down. So uh, inside is going to ha be having a very difficult time picking his teammate up. As you can see, Dini is mo moving in really closely, trying to spot out flute. Uh, maybe perhaps finishing him off. And you can see that um, the team Askar is getting um, heavy fire from Jika Lewa. You know, spotting him behind the the tree. And definitely, this is going to be the a uh, risk factor of you know trading shots between the members of each other. Uh, Jinkalewa being in the circle, you know, flo <laughs> uh, flood. Okay, I will call you flood. Okay, flood getting <laughs> finished you up by Ascorax. You know, trying to do that 360 turn while all you know, although you are knocked down, you know, trying to reduce the risk of getting hit shot. You know, finishing him off. Uh, inside training fires with Dini. Dini getting shots from him. Uh, inside, still getting a very good position of, I mean, still getting a very good cover from his angle. Dini proning down here, killing himself up. And inside, getting a very beautiful hate shot by his SLR on Dika Lewa. So Dini is going to have a very difficult choice between either to save his teammate or to survive on his own. But based on professional uh, experience that I have before, <laughs> I would say that uh, Jinka Lewa is going to tell Dini, you know what, you know, play on, man. Live on without me. Live on the legend, bro. So with two members from Ascorax, from Team 8, which is going to be the S-Ball, S -Ball, they have a higher possibility chance of winning. But inside having a good position, spotting the rest of the members overall, and because uh, they 
That's correct. It's now has now spotted inside training hit, but he is not efficient. Now, Dini moving in closely into the circle, and where is the circle right now? I can't see the circle. Oh, it's basically this is the last circle, right? This is the last circle. So they got two minutes and thirty-five seconds to sort their disputes out now. Otherwise, they run the risk of uh, mm. having it settled for them. Fifteen kills after Blade gets uh, uh, taken down there. Uh, I'm not sure if that actually counts as a kill, but uh, oh no, sorry, it's actually the bleeding out of Jinkalewa. Yep, bleeding out Jinkalewa. So now it's going to be 2v1v1. And you definitely can see that uh, Ascarax has been oh no, picked up his teammate Blade. Healing up, moving into the rotation. How's it going to be like? The Defile for inside is going to look really interesting because he got a lower lower ground cover and Dini doing the ninja, you know, from the other end. I'm pretty sure inside still do know that he's somewhere around there but it's just that the risk factor of moving into the circle because this is going to be the last rotation circle and inside getting a headshot on blade beautiful shot by him and that pro shot damn now it's a 1v1v1 here us mm -hmm. going at it with order and stadium fighters so everyone is uh, apparently <laughs> in the prone wars right now so Very we'll have to see if there's going to be any revenge from any of these guys as they look to try and finish, put the finishing touches here. But, ooh, Dini yep. actually ooh. catching sight there. And, uh, oh, he's actually taking oh. quite a bit of blue damage. He has to stand up and inside. Oh. Ooh, getting the final kill of the game there as we see Order coming out <laughs> big. 17 kills on the board. And uh, really, I thought Insight and Flood had it, uh, their work cut out for them when they moved into the center of the circle. But they were able to really use the, the kind of um, the forces from either side of them against each other yep. uh, right at the end. But because I, I can honestly say that it, it comes to the end of who spots who first and whoever who have to get up, you know, they, they, they risk the factor of, you know, getting shot first, you know, being revealed. But then again, maybe perhaps standing up enables you to see those, you know, people who prone around. But definitely you can see that insight from Team Order is definitely going to be the MVP of the game because he's been doing a lot of carrying. He's been, you know, spotting up people, taking down a lot, uh, you know, taking down a lot of team members. Uh, definitely his teammate Flood, unfortunately, got taken out a little bit, a two bit early, but um, definitely inside, very well played. Yeah, absolutely. I think uh, good plays all around there. But, uh, yep, special props go out to Team Order taking the first chicken dinner of the evening here. Second place is going to be Stadium Fighter looking very strong on the western side. Osbol going to come in third. And we're going to get uh, Friendly Fire Gaming uh, occupying both fourth and fifth. And uh, I apologize. I actually can't distinguish between the <laughs> looking at the... At, um, the names here and i do apologize for that we'll pick up on that one later on which one is ffg gold and which one is ffg but for now we'll be taking a short break guys as uh we're going to get ready for round two out of four for this evening and if not mistaken i think <coughs> we will be going to miramar so uh that's going to be it for the time being for me my name is jay and here with me is newbie aka kelvin or vice versa so yep th thanks for watching thank you